Welcome back to City Mystic Lux. It's late night tarot. As always, take a moment to get in touch with the tape, the stuff that's going on, maybe keeping you awake, stuff you think that you have to sort out, but you know you can't. It's probably better if you just set it aside and rest. Things you're really hoping turn out the way you'd like, things you're really hoping don't go that other way, questions you don't know how to answer, the stuff that is just distracting you from feeling at peace. We want to get in touch with this because nothing can heal until it is allowed to become what it is. And we're looking to tarot to give us some healing. Always I'm looking to do no harm, to find empowering information, and to find opportunities to grow fulfillment and love. As I cut the deck, let's see what we ended up with. Oh, what a lovely card. We ended up with the Ten of Cups. So, as we're focusing our thinking, looking for solutions, trying to find some serenity and respite in this moment, hopefully trying to put our brains to rest if that's what you're looking for, uh, the Ten of Cups is about focusing on <sighs> fulfillment, really, which is interesting because we're looking for fulfilling um, opportunities to grow fulfillment. But with the Ten of Cups, it's like our greatest emotional wishes coming true. So spending some time um, considering, like, have you ever done that exercise, imagine a, light, a perfect day for you? Uh, maybe your perfect day is like, go and hang out at the park with my dog. Or maybe the perfect day is um, really uncomplicated. Spend some time enjoying coffee, looking at trees, maybe do some painting, maybe talk to some friends on the phone. Like it doesn't need to be some outlandish, um, overly complicated vision, but getting, getting grounded in what makes you happy, what gives you a sense of fulfillment, what gives you a sense of joy um, and enthusiasm. If you were able to experience a perfect day, what would be in it? Um, and just spend some time steeping in what that is for you. What is that happy place for you? With the Ten of Cups, we are experiencing fulfillment on an emotional and spiritual level. So the more authentic you can get with yourself, the more true to your core, the more potent this exercise will likely be. When we're working with Ten of Cups, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. But rather than getting lost in the ache of what isn't here, getting uh, enamored, like falling in love with, finding out who we really are and what really makes us happy. The more we focus on that, the more ability we have to remember um, that we're safe in the universe, um, that the universe is rooting for us, that we're allowed. There's that self-validation of just honoring and acknowledging our own dreams and desires and visions, right? And especially when it comes to um, feeling safe and secure in family, um, in friendships, in our home environment, um, what does spiritual nourishment look like? If you're someone who's here watching a tarot video, I have to imagine you probably have some kind of connection to intuition and or maybe even tarot. Are you nurturing that? Do you give yourself readings? Do you have a tarot journal? Do you know how to read your own tarot cards? Do you feel frustrated when you read tarot? Like, what's going on in there for you? What, what are those wants and needs that you have around your spiritual fulfillment and well-being? And what action could you take, like, right now um, to fill your cup a little bit? You know, could you, could you pull out a tarot book? Do you have one that you could read and do, like, one exercise and refocus your mind before you go to bed? Maybe you could do a little bit of meditating. Maybe you could write a letter to the universe about your perfect day. Maybe you could write a letter to the universe that's like, hey, I want to trust you and I want to feel like I'm allowed here. Can you show me how I'm allowed to be myself and how you support me? Opening the channels um, and letting the good come in is uh, the, it's like the power tool that we have available when we're getting a nudge from the Ten of Cups. Like, give yourself permission to experience your own um personal sense of fulfillment and joy and enthusiasm to break it down. So if you want to learn tarot, you can pull something away from this and employ it in your own readings. 
Numbers are really important in tarot. So we always go ace through 10. Ace is the beginning of a process, 10 is the completion. So we're at a 10, we're at a like fulfillment completion point and we're in the suit of cups, which is our spiritual energy, our emotional energy, our relationship and connective to other people energy. Um, so when we're dealing with cups, we know this has to do with our inner world and our emotional um, structure like on a very personal level. And we're also dealing with our spiritual relationship to people, places, things, the universe, our place in it. Um, so letting go of needing to um, have a sense of control or having to fight our way through and instead getting in touch with flow, getting in touch with how I am a piece of the rest of the universe. I'm literally like this weird consciousness steering around this meat suit body on a planet that is hurtling through space and spinning in circles in the meantime and i don't know what the fuck is going on so i'm just gonna do my best to make the most of it and enjoy this experience as it is there's some reason the universe has created the opportunity to have this experience so why don't i just sink into it and let it flow let it flow through me, let it love me, let it live me. And while I'm here, learn about what makes this interesting creature that I find myself being tick. What gives me slash it joy? How is the universe utilizing me as a witness to its astounding creative abilities? And I get to follow what I like and what I'm drawn to and um, what makes me feel fulfilled like I can trust that that is a part of what the universe made me into so giving yourself space to be validated this evening might be really helpful and I hope you get some rest if that's what you're looking for thanks for the follows and the likes and the interplay and maybe I'll see you tomorrow for some tarot